The Alvor Desert is magic. I've been told this is one of the darkest areas in the United States. It's a great place to observe the stars. They go right to the horizon line, as crisp and bright as you can imagine. This vastness, the silence, no humans anywhere near me, anywhere. Andrews is considered a ghost town now. I am the only resident, and my dog, Phoebe. It was a town of about 150 people at the turn of the century. It's on the edge of the Steens, it's on the edge of the desert. I appreciate that as a painter, that edge. And as a man of 63 years old now, I feel I'm becoming more on the edge also. How many more years do I have to live? What do I have to give back? What can I say? What is my purpose? The weather is a very, very powerful aspect. The wind is very powerful here. It's a personality. And the schoolhouse is like a safe place. You can be in a strong storm outside and come inside the schoolhouse. You're all right here. So it's a good place to paint. In the past, I would plan paintings carefully, playing with a primitive or folk kind of design. Relationship of line and color, light and dark, all have a way of telling a story to me. Can I make the story? so that others can understand it as well. Living here in Andrews for the last three and a half years has influenced me that my painting now is in the moment. I paint what I'm feeling, observing here in the Alvord, and I'll begin without any plan, and I'll allow it to develop on the canvas as it happens. Let me tell you a little bit about this piece. Phoebe and I had taken a walk one day, and we were all alone, there was no one around, and we're walking up higher and higher into the Steens, and came to a place where literally the hair on the back of my neck began standing up, and I had this feeling, get out of here now. And so I turned around with Phoebe and we left. I began the painting. I didn't really have any plans, I was just gonna put gesso on it. And then I sat down and I looked at that canvas and I saw the cougar head in the gesso. I have a mirror to look at it in reverse, so it helps me to see it in a different way, out of context. You get to see a problem point, like, oh, that's off balance or that's not straight. So, the mirror helps me to see clearly. When I was in Tibet in 2003, I wished that if there was any place on Earth like Tibet, but a little closer to civilization, please, I would like to go there. And when I came heading towards Andrews here, I had this flashback that this was what I had wished for. I'm here. And it's a dream, isn't it? It's like a dream. It's a great distance to go anywhere. If I want to go to Safeway, it's a 300 mile round trip. Sometimes I don't see people for weeks at a time. And so it is me and my dog and the earth. These extremes bring about in me an ever greater appreciation of life itself. So this place, it's about humility. Very beautiful. Good girl. I'm surrounded by animals. They're my neighbors. I feel a kinship. 
It's like we are together on this planet. So to me, they're like family. I can honestly say to you, I have never been lonely. And it is because of the wind, it's because of the animals around me, and it's also because of Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is my human connection. It's like a cafe that's open 24 seven. And there's always someone there. And so, how can you feel alone? Come on. I go out every morning with my camera, take a photograph, come back, post it on Facebook. And literally, I will get a response within seconds. And someone from, you know, New York will say, like, you know, and it's like, so that's why I don't feel lonely. How, you know, that's the part, that's the reason why I like that. This land changes quickly. The light and the shadows change quickly. It's very dramatic. And so I realized I couldn't draw that fast. I couldn't record it that fast. I needed to use a camera. I had a situation happen where I was in here painting and I had a sense, get your camera and go out right now. Then in the sky, this prism began to form. And so I was able to get a photograph of that. It's almost sometimes as if the earth tells me that it wants me to get out there and take a photograph of it. This painting of the cougar, when he first blocked it in, fire wanted to come out of this cougar. Started painting it in, it felt right. A couple days later, there was a lightning storm. It started a fire. And the fire came within a mile of the school. And in the night sky, there was a red glow. And I saw that it was what I was trying to paint and I can't explain that kind of thing, but this is what happens to me out here. Be it spirits, intuition, connection to the earth, whatever you want to name it, once again, it comes through in the work. These things I trust now. We don't have a lot of time here, I don't think. I don't have a lot of time. I want to spend my time feeling love versus worry or fear. It just feels better. It opens the heart and um, I think it's better for the planet. This is a new path for me, a new chapter. My paintings are intuitive and they all have something to say that tell the story of how I got here and who I am and what I've experienced. And I'm trusting that and I'll go with it, with all I have to give. And we'll see what happens. <laughs>